Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this right here, the close-up is Dot. She's been out this morning, and she's being a good girl today. And that's her treat. There you go. And uh, we're at the end of this work week. This is Friday, and we're coming into the uh, the sixth weekend uh, in uh, in Easter. And we're moving right along through the month of May, uh, unbelievably. And uh, I hope that it's been a good month for you so far, that uh, you're still enjoying the, uh, the wonder and the mystery of the Easter season as we uh, every day get to spend time uh, uh, seeing the magnificence of God's creation all around us and the warmth and the light and uh, the compassion of the love that he has for us. And uh, I just want to say a little bit about love today. Uh, I was thinking of the, the song that uh, basically John Lennon wrote, but it's a, a Lennon-McCartney song from uh, the mid middle of the 1960s called All You Need Is Love. <laughs> who are focusing on the, uh, well, what are people producing in their lives? You know, how are people deserving of certain amounts of money? How are people, uh, uh, what, what is it that they're creating in this world that's bringing uh, uh, value and worth that they are able to attain? And I, I, I shudder and, and I, I don't like it when we talk in those terms. We're all here for the same reason. Uh, now, money is just a temporary thing. We know that uh, currencies throughout time, uh, monetary things, they, they rise in value and then they collapse, uh, just like nations uh, rise and fall. Uh, no nation on this world, in this planet, uh, have been given a, 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 a guarantee of permanence. No nations rise and fall. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but it's the word of the Lord that stands forever. Uh, and so what are we here for? What is it that we produce in our lives? Well, what is it that God wants us to produce? You now, the New Testament uh, is clear in Galatians 5 that there is fruit that we produce just like uh, plants. Uh, Jesus says he's the vine, we're the branches, and we're here to produce the fruit that he's placed uh, us here to produce. And what is that? Well, there are two lists in Galatians chapter 5 of the fruit of the Spirit and the fruit of the flesh. And uh, Paul lists uh, the fruit of the flesh first. And it's uh, a lot of what we're seeing in the world today. Uh, anger, wrath, rage, bitterness, jealousy, uh, mean-spiritedness, uh, chaos, disorder, confusion, pain, anguish, uh, and things like that are what are listed as the fruit of the flesh when we live into the sinful nature of uh, our lives. That's what happens. But we're here to produce the fruit of the Spirit, and we can only do that through the love that God has for us. In the Gospel reading today, Jesus says, I give you a new commandment, love one another. You did not choose me. I chose you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will abide. So let him give you his grace and mercy and compassion today. Call on him. He's right there with you. And produce the fruit that he has given for you to produce. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And courage and compassion. And know that he'll help you do that. And have a great day today as we end this work week. And God willing, Don and I will see you here again tomorrow. <laughs>